Hey, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video, we're going to rename these buttons and some of the controls on the screen. So like right now, if you look at the first item on the list, you can see down here that it is properties box says text box one. That's his name. So what I want to do is rename all of the controls on the screen so that they match their function. So let's start with the first item, which is called text box one, and let's scroll through the list of items until we come to design. This here name is text box one. That is not the text that shows on the screen. That's the name of the control. So I'm going to come up with a nomenclature or a standard way of putting a prefix on these things. So this is a text box one. So I'm going to put txt and I'm going to give this thing the word txt underscore make. And the reason why I would do that is because I'm going to do programming in a minute and it's easier to keep track of which item I'm dealing with if it has a clear name. This is text box 2 which is for the model so let's put txt and call model and so on. Let's go through the rest of these. So now when I come down to the button where it says create a car, I'm going to use three letters here, BTN for the prefix, and then I'm going to call it create car for a word. Now for the list box one, this is the car inventory, right? So let's, uh, let's put LST for a prefix, and let's put inventory for a name. And let's see, we got a button coming up here. This is button two. So let's call him BTN and uh, add to cart. And then we have list box 2, let's call him LST and cart. And we've got checkout, and I think that's the last control. So BTN, and this is checkout. Now there's a couple, uh, at least there's one label here that's going to be modified. So this one's important, it's going to be used in the program. So label 5, I'm going to rename is LBL, and uh, let's call it total. Now, here is why those names make a difference. So if I come in to create a car, I'm going to double click it, and you're going to see that it automatically creates a function for me. And the function has its name called btn create car click. So that's much better than if I were to call it button one click. Now let's see if I can uh, put a message box in here, and then I'm going to end the uh, end of the video here. So this is called create car and so I'm just going to press a message box. Let's see if this actually works. Let's do a start and when we get the application up and running I can click this button and get a message. Okay so if I click create a car there is my message box. Okay so I'm going to be creating functions for all of these different items in here. So let's go back to the design. Add to cart is going to have a function, so if I double click it, you can see it automatically creates this, this uh, click function. What else is going to need a function? There's a checkout, and so there's a click function on the checkout. So we'll be filling those in in uh, the next video. So that's a good stopping point for right now.